Well, today we're heading out to Lake Shavanaugh Muskie Rescue with the Quad County uh, Hog Hunters Muskies Inc. Club and the Department of Natural Research Sources uh, Fishery Biologist and uh, local Lake Shavanaugh Lake Sportsman's Club. Uh, the group of the guys goes out there and uh, maintains the fish population that go over the spillway into the creek because Lake Shabinaw is a reservoir lake that was dammed up. And so by damming it up, they've created a spillway out of the old creek channel. And what happens is the spillway is about maybe 50 feet up in the air. And the fish come out when that water gets high up in the lake, even though there's a barrier at the, where the water exits the lake and then there's a barrier down the creek, the muskies still in the bass, walleyes, the fish still manage to get over the spillway and get trapped down at the bottom in the creek. And versus losing them fish down the creek and then ultimately into the Fox River and so on, the club tries to prevent that and moves those fish from down below the spillway in the creek up into the lake. And so that's what you'll see today. You'll see a group of muskie club guys, conservation, fishermen, uh, local bait shop owners, and a whole group of people coming together to uh, put these fish back in the lake to maintain the lake as a top quality fishery. Um, in fact, Shabinaw Lake has produced four or five of the Illinois state records um, for muskies with uh, muskies up to 50 inches. So it's a very healthy fishery. And so uh, part of that being a healthy fishery is what we do as the mus as the fishing club. Uh, and the Quad County Muskies Inc. Club is a division of the Muskies Inc. And this club has been stocking uh, muskies in Shabinaw for as long as I can remember. And that's a good 15, 20 years now plus. And so they've really played a role in being able to stock that lake. Hi, I'm Dwayne Landmeyer. I'm president of the Quad County Hog Hunters Muskies Incorporated Club in Plano, Illinois. And we're down here at Shabana Lake, and we're going to do a muskie rescue in Indian Creek below the spillway of Shabana Lake. We've been doing this for like 15 or 17 years. The lake has been stocked since like in the 1980s, and there's a lot of big muskies in here. But muskies tend to follow current, and they go over the spillway and they can't get back in the lake and if this creek dries up in August they could die in the creek so it's a good valuable resource and we come down here we have volunteers like Boy Scouts we have the Shavana Sportsman's Club, Quad County Hog Hunters and some other Muskies Inc. clubs and other volunteers helping and we're gonna catch the muskies in nets put them in coolers put them into a big tank the fisheries biologist from the DNR is here thank you to them and we'll put the muskies back into Shabana Lake so we can catch them up in the lake with them or in our boats. Rich, you're gonna go this way with the net, right? Yeah.
Well, they we're pushing all the fish all the way down to, there's another fence down here and it's, it'll be a collection area where all the fish will gather. And at the collection area is the biologist and a big, a large tanker truck. And then all the fish will be put in that tanker truck and taken back up to the main lake. down here in Indian Creek below Shabana Lake Spillway and years ago we've been doing this for years and we needed something to keep the fish contained between the spillway and the fence down here so we wrote a letter to a Hugh Becker Foundation up in Minnesota which is the Muskies Incorporated Organization Foundation and we got a grant for $9,000 cost $15,000 to fix this fence and what its purpose is, is so that we can contain the fish between the spillway and the dam and conserve the fishery. So the fish, we're pushing them down, the members of our clubs are coming this way. 
We're gonna catch them, put them in the fisheries tank that's aerated, and put them back in the lake so we can catch them again. Here we are again, we're down below Shavana Spillway in Indian Creek and we, put, we, we got a lot of muskies and some walleyes and hybrid stripers and we're going to put them back in the lake. We got 41 muskies, several walleyes and a few hybrid stripers and a lot of good help here and we thank them for that and it's very successful and we're going to put them back in the lake in a little while here. Uh, we just saved 41 muskies, we're putting them back in the lake. Uh, the guys pushed down, a couple girls helped us out, pushed down the muskies down to the spillway fence here, this is our protection barrier. We got 41 muskies in the tank, and we're going to go save a few more right now. You might have to stop here. Hey, 
Oh, we've just ended a very successful muskie rescue at Chabonaw Lake, and there were over 40 beautiful muskies rescued, uh, about 10 walleyes, a few hybrid stripers, and all these fish have been saved from sure death down in this little stream to be put back in uh, the healthy lake. Uh, for the fisher to help the fishery be that much better for the recreational fishermen. 
So uh, the uh, Hog Hunters Club, uh, a division of Muskies Incorporated, uh, puts the people together and accomplishes this. And uh, I, I just want to thank everybody for for such a successful rescue. And uh, the, the fish, uh, the, bi the biologist is here from the Illinois Conservation Department and they're uh, about to take this tank up and restock these muskies back into Chabonaw Lake.
that one, Mike? One